Hey guys, John from SurfFX, and we're having a look at the 2022 North Seek foil boards. Now, these range of boards come in a pretty broad range of sizes, so it suits everything from the big gear boards being good for big boys or uh, for a sup foil board, and then the smaller ones right down for wake foiling and for you know high wind like sinking on the wing foil. So, quite a few changes. Now, I really like the previous version of this board, and they've really kind of trimmed it up a lot. So, what they've done first off is they increase the water line. So the water line of this board is really sharp and they did it with a, a much more vertical rail so that it is still a bit of a bevel to the rail but it's nowhere not as pulled under as it used to be for the uh, you know to help with the splash on touchdowns. It's much steeper with a sharper edge for that release and just getting that board to release quicker just gets the foil up and gets you more efficient whether it's the big soft boards the smallest of the small boards. Getting that board to release from the water is key to getting out and getting more time on the foil. So they've done a little bit there. They've got that water line straight. So that is also made for a very compact shape. Now for sizes, these are the shortest boards for the volume that we carry. So what that means is you're gonna be on a five, this is the five one and it's 98 liters. Uh, so you know, I'll go through the other size in a sec, but you really get a lot of volume in a short shape. And having that shorter shape really lets you, you know, just have a less board in front of you when you're foiling. So, uh, and to help having less board in front of you while you're foiling, let's, talk, let's look at the bottom. They move the boxes quite a bit farther forward. So it gives you that option to run them nice and forward. You're standing more forward and it just has less board in front of you with the swing weight kind of dangling over the, over the top. Uh, while we got it up, we'll have a quick look at the bottom here. You have a, a little bit of a V double concave through the nose to help on touchdowns. That rocker line through the nose is a bit more aggressive than it was previously. So it's much fatter and thicker and then steep through the tip to kind of give you a bit of more clearance, but also on wave takeoffs, particularly in the sup boards, just gives you a bit more room uh, to keep the nose up from uh, so you don't you know stick it onto the bottom of the ocean. Um, and through the back end again, sharp rail the whole way, right up from the front, like right here, right there. That's where the rail strap's getting sharp. So all the way through, and that's just to get the water to release, basically get the board planing, let go, get it up and go. Uh, handle on the bottom, pretty standard around. The back end, there's no more of a beveled tail. You now have just a straight cut tail, again, the water release, but there's no extra material over the back too. Again, helping with that shorter length, but keeping that volume in. And you can see here just how thick the board is. So they really pack it in and they scooped up the deck. So there's a little bit more concave to the deck. Uh, last year's was quite quite flat, and but they really dropped it down. And again, it allows a little bit more volume in the rail. So that's gonna be more stability when you're getting up onto the board and when you start just getting going, keeps it more stable before it releases. When they move the mass tracks further forward, you know, you're standing further forward and so many foils have different positions that they like to be. So what they did, look, there is a there is a ton of inserts on this board now. So you got one, two, three, four, five hole set up in the back. So a lot of range forward and back. You can have a super wide stance if you want. You can bring the back foot forward. A lot of guys will stand a little bit more back foot forward, uh, particularly like on reaching. You've got three wide from the center. So you can run a center strap with a slight angle or dead in the middle, and then you can run a V setup as well. So you got lots of options and then lots of places to have it forward and back so you can really dial in your stance quite comfortably on this. Uh, comfort wise, they use the corduroy deck grip again. And I really like this deck grip because if you are climbing on and off and you're kind of starting off on your knees, it is very soft and smooth on your knees, but it's really quite grippy when you're standing on it. So you can see there you got some markings just for visual reference, but you also have, there's a ridge like, uh, like a tail pad you know, kick has a ridge some on surfboards. You've got a ridge there so you can kind of get up and feel that front foot is in the middle without having to, to even look down a reference. They got, had it on the back previously, but they got rid of it on the, on it now because it's kind of, well, you, once you locate the front, that's usually where you come unstuck if you've got your front foot off. The back foot's a bit more, uh, bit more forgiving on the placement. And of course, tail pad on, kick on the back, so you're not stepping off the back of the board. But yeah, Gore-Tex valves. And what they did is construction wise, this is quite a bit lighter than the last year's. So you've got a, they call it a hybrid carbon construction. So you've got a carbon, uh, it's a carbon layup with e-glass. Uh, it's light, it's stiff. You've got a timber uh, 
well it's bamboo actually, bamboo under the standing area for impact resistance and you've got PVC stringers down the center of the board that the inserts are into as well as the fin box, the foil boxes are in this PVC stringer so they're bonded through that top and bottom and it's the length of the board so they are a very tough board. I mean the amount of guys jumping wing foils now, huge and this is a board that can take it which is pretty cool. So let's have a look at the sizes. Now they do also have a 4.6 and a 4.4, quite a bit smaller, but here we have a 4.8 at 58 liters, a 4.10 at 78, and these are kind of what most of the guys will be on. You know, if, if you're, the 5.1 at 98 liters is plenty of volume. That's, you know, that, if you're 70 kilos, 75 kilos, 80 kilos, if you've had a kind of a windsurfing background, you can have that as your first board. So having a 5.1 with that volume is pretty nice for your first board. If you're a bigger guy, 5'5", 118 liters. So now we're talking, if you are 90 kilos, 95 kilos, you can have a five, get a 5'5 five five to learn on. You've got that volume that'll help you get going in a five foot five length, which is fantastic. Do you wanna, if you're one of the big guys or you wanna sup foil, um, you know, there's a 5'11", 138 liters, 31 wide, you know, this 118 liters, like that volume is more than my sup that I serve. So, I should be able to stand on that, we'll see. But uh, it's just being able to pack that volume in the shorter lengths, great for the beginner to immediate guys who want to go and get a good board from the start and not have to upgrade it because you want something shorter later. So, you know, you don't need to get a six foot three board to go and learn when you can get a five five and just stick with it.